Is it for real? Does it command only a select few? Or is it like a virus? Which can infect anyone? Which, if it is, then there is a probability that every one of us can succumb to it. <laughs> and to see that, IMAX brings before you picture perfect.
I mean, sure, the rules are there for a reason. To maintain order and avoid chaos. But every now and then, they bite into your skin. The handcuffs three clicks too tight. Hmm. Baby, maybe that's how I was feeling that day. After reworking the ground for so many hours with Delhi. It was dark when we finished and I still had a long drive home. I guess, I guess I just needed to cut loose. My foot got a little heavy. The needle swung over to where I'd never seen it go before. And the speed. The speed felt really good. Until, until I saw the flashing lights in my mirror. I was about halfway home there. Of course, of course I should have pulled over and taken the ticket. I should have followed the rules. But if I had, there'd be no story to tell. For reasons I still can't figure out, I decided to run. I clearly remember thinking, if I can outrun this car, I can do anything. So I cut the lights to hide my plate, put my foot to the floor and crossed three lanes of traffic to hit the first exit. I had no idea where I was. But I took a run and dipped into the first driveway that I came to. It was an old farmhouse. With the dirt drive coming around the back. So I parked behind the house, cut the engine, and spread out across the front seats. And I stared that way a long time, waiting for a tap on the window or a flashlight in my face. Nobody came. Not the car, not the farmer, nobody. When I finally started my car and got back on the highway, I knew I could do anything. Tell me, Lily, what would you really like to do? 
I'd like to get my hands on him. Round his neck. Push my thumb into his windpipe and... No. You'll leave fingerprints on his flesh. What? You'll leave fingerprints. What are yours? DNA. There are other ways. Ways you can take care of, of them both. Without sacrificing yourself. Without incriminating yourself. What are you talking about? Right. Revenge. Justice. Call it what you will, but you don't have to take this from them. You are talking of murder. France, this wouldn't be murder. The crime of passion is a bona fide legal defense. But we are... situations just like this. But we are not in France. All the more reason not to get caught. <laughs> I got to one of your talks. Where the audience tries to come up with the perfect murder. And you tell them how they will be caught. Besides, I'm the husband, the first person they look at. They only investigate if they think there's been a murder. If they thought these numbers ran away together, I guess this is crazy. Maybe it is. But don't you see them together when you close your eyes? Can you really sleep beside her without wondering where his hands had touched her? Without her moaning in his ear? <laughs> if you can. You're a better man than I am. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't possibly get away with something. Something like this. You could. You could if you had help. What do you mean? If you had somebody who knew investigation procedures, forensics, how to dispose of bodies without leaving a trace, a homicide detective, a criminalist, a shrink who spent more than a thousand hours interviewing murderers and the detectives who catch them. Catch. Catch is the operative word here. If the average murderer knew even half of what goes into an, into an investigation, society would be at his mercy. But the average murderer is not especially smart. We are. You do this for me. My friend, you just entered into a conspiracy. Even if you were to never carry out the act, my silence guarantees your silence, guarantees my silence. <laughs> so, you mean to say that they can be dealt with without giving any indication that a crime has been committed? Yes. And uh, made to disappear <laughs> permanently? Yes. Trust me, Daddy. Can be done. How deep is that lake? Myself. But then I began to wonder, why do you bother to visit me? Hmm. I 
Want me to see what you were doing? To see. To see how your puppet was doing with its strings cut? You sound hostile right now. I understand. I mean, a place like this... Hostile! Hostile doesn't even begin to describe what you're feeling right now. If you're lying me because I called the police... Ha! <laughs> because you called the police. I'm sorry, but I had no choice. When you told me what you've done... You are a real piece of work, Marcus. What do you mean? And a hell of an actor. Sure, I don't think anyone is looking. But stick to your innocent visitor routine. That way, nobody will be able to figure out that you set me up. Set you up? At this rate, you'll even win an Oscar. <laughs> your friend, Derek. I want to help in any way I can. Friend. Friends don't push friends into murder and leave them standing on the body. You're right. Friends don't drag friends into murder. Why? Why didn't you call me so I could talk you out of it? Because you talked me into it! I did no such thing. What about the day I came to the house? Oh, that day. The day you were so distraught about your wife's affair that you drove up in a rage when I suggested divorce. You don't believe this? Think, hmm. Derek. How could I have talked to you, a tenured full professor, into something like murder? How did I? Did I blackmail you? Promise you money? Seduce you? <laughs> you told me you would help me dispose of the bodies. This is absurd. Hmm. But the lake near your house? <laughs> A lake full of all fishermen and swimmers. Gas makes bodies rise. But you said we could wade them down. The lake is too shallow. Snorkelers would see them. But. But you said we could make them disappear. You've been to my lectures, Derek. You've heard me talk about how bothersome bodies can be. I mean, animals dig up forest graves. The smell of decomposition seeps through floors and walls. And any container, any, and any acid strong enough to dissolve gold would also dissolve its own container. But what about all the forensics you said you would get around? All they found of Griffin's wife was a patch of stomach skin with a recognizable scar. That's it. The jury passed it around on a plate and Griffin was hanged. And that was 1910. Forensic science has improved since then. Don't you think? There are no buts, Derek. Are you really planning to walk into court with your PhD and say that you were talked into murder by a man who had nothing to gain? No motive to want a victim's death. A man who lived an hour away. But when I told you, you specifically told me to stay put. The same man who fought police. And established a phone record alibi. At the time of the crime. Based on defense and suggestibility, you would have to demonstrate the weakest will in history. Or you would have to be insane. You won't get away with this! Are you insane? I won't let you get away with this! I want to help! Don't you worry! But I can't implicate myself in a felony! You told me to say what? Conspiracy to commit murder, perjury, obstruction of justice! Please! I would have to be insane. Please, Marcus, don't do this. You know what you've done, Eric. Mark, it's not my fault, Marcus. You know the pain you've caused yourself. Please. Face up to what you've done. Marcus, I'm scared. And you know what you have to do to end this pain. Marcus, I'm so scared. You know what you have to do.
Katsu, two of them are dead and the third one is in jail for their murder. Don't forget Karen Summers. The poor thing had a nervous breakdown after her husband's funeral. She had to be committed. Speaking of Karen, we were talking about her the other night when Marcus popped in on us. What happened? The police found her wandering naked, down down the last time. At this time of the year? <laughs> Talk about popsicle toes.
three hours. I was beginning to get worried about you. Now don't get yourself too excited, honey. God, I can't be too! I'm not going to hurt you. I made you some hot chocolate. I don't want anything. Sorry about the time out. It's a side effect of the pill I made for you. So is the headache, I'm afraid. You make me take a pill. Oh, I'll hold you down and clamp your mouth shut. What kind of love did you give me? Something that disabled you while I took care of things. Hypnosis? Oh, brain 
brainwashing or drug induced mind control. No! It was simply a matter of will. He said it was like a painting of Dorian Gray. Only words. One day, everything was clear. I realized that a mind free of conscience and concern looks like I just got home in time. Maybe 
Maybe when you pull a sweet. My plane leaves tonight. I have no reason to come back. Change your flight then. Let me give you a reason to stay. Stay? Yes. At least for tonight. New York will still be here tomorrow. Yes, it will. And who knows? Maybe after tonight, you'll have a reason to come back. Maybe. Yes. Let me paint you. Derek? Yeah.